In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. At the Last Supper, before his departure, Jesus leaves a sign by which the disciples will be known as his very own. Their love for one another. And the measure of this love is the love of Jesus for them which makes Jesus stoop down to wash their feet and to die on the cross. The zeal of our belonging to Christ remains the same, our love for the Lord and for one another. May we remain faithful to these commandments. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against thee. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism May under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. St. Luke describes the end of the first missionary journey of Paul and Barnabas. The apostles appoint leaders for the young Christian communities and exhort the converts to persevere in faith. The seed of the word that they planted now starts to grow to maturity. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city, and made a considerable number of disciples. They returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. This strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. The appointed the elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. 
The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let them make known your might to the children of Adam and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. At the end of the age, the people who remain faithful will be delivered from all trials and suffering. They become a new people, radiant as they are presented before the Lord Jesus. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. And God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I will give you a new commandment, love one another. As I have loved you, so you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang puso ay natuturuan. Kung ang puso ay hindi natuturuan, mawawala ng kahulugan ang mga utos ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Mahalin mo ang iyong mga kaaway. O sino sa atin ang may likas na pagmamahal sa mga kaaway? 
Yan nga ang mga taong kauna-unahang kinamumuhian natin. Pag nakita nating nadapa, nagsasaya tayo, pumapalakpak, tumatawa, buting. Pag sila nasawi, ang dami nating patutsyada, ang dami nating kantsaw sapagkat mga kalaban. Pagkatapos maririnig mo, Panginoong Heso Kristo, sasabihin sa atin, mahalin mo ang iyong kaaway. Paano mo magagawa yan kung di mo tuturuan ang iyong puso? Sa pagtuturo lamang sa puso, magagawa ng isang tao, mahalin yung kanyang kaaway. O isa pa, mahalin mo yung mahihirap. Yan ang mga taong ating iniiwasan. Hingi ng hingi. Utang ng utang. Hindi naman nababayaran. Di ba? Kaya iwas tayo ng iwas sa mga taong ganyan. Pagkatapos, sasabihin ng Panginoon, mahalin mo ang mga may hirap. Tulungan sila sa kanilang kawalan. Oo. Paano mamamahalin yan kung di mo tuturuan ng puso? Eh, paano natin matuturuan ng ating puso? Yan. Hindi po yan natuturuan ng isang iglap sa eskwelahan, sa mga lectures, sa pagbabasa ng libro, panunood ng computer. Kaya tingnan nyo, maski sa mga universidad, walang kurso tungkol sa pag-ibig, nagagraduate kayo na may diploma kayo, Bachelor of Science, Major in Love Affairs. Wala pong ganun. Bakit? Hindi natuturuan ang puso sa pag-ibig sa pamamagitan lamang ng mga satsat, daldal, kundi sa konkretong karanasan. Karanasan! Nakaranas na ba kayong umibig nung kayo eh? Hindi ka ibig-ibig yung kayo'y iniiwanan ng lahat sapagkat kayo'y mahirap, sapagkat hindi kayo nagtagumpay, sapagkat kamuhi-muhi kayo at marami kayong nakaaway, Ah, meron pa bang umiibig sa inyo? Naranasan nyo na ba yun? Na kahit na ganong karami kasalanan nyo, tinatanggap pa rin kayo. Pinatatawad. Pinapagpapasensyahan. O saan nyo naranasan yung ibigin na ganyan? Sa bahay. Sa pamilya. Kaya nga, yung pag-ibig, ang pinag-uugatan, yung sinapupunan. Sa sinapupunan pa lang, kailangan yung bata, nararamdaman na na siya'y iniibig. Kaya nga, ikinakasal para pulido, mahusay, ang paglabas ng bata sapagkat sertipikado yung tatay at nanay nagmamahalan sapagkat kadalasan pag yung bata'y ginawa dahil na aksidente lamang sa simula pa lang nag-aaway na yung mag-asawa kasama pa nga yung mga kamag-anak sasabihin, bakit ka nabuntis? Kita nyo nasisisi pati yung sanggol, wala sa lugar yan hindi ba naalala mang nararamdaman na ng sanggol maging sa sinapupunan na siya pala pinag-aawayan nung mismong kanyang mga magulang 
at ng kanyang mga kamag-anakan, hindi malaman kung siya didisis yun ng isisilang o hindi. Kaya nga pag naghahanda ako ng mga kinakasal, sinasabi ko doon sa lalaki, kailangan pag nabuntis na yung asawa mo, ipakita mo yung talagang tunay at dalisay mong pagmamahal. Sapagkat ang pagmamahal mo sa babae na pinakasalan mo, eh siya rin pagmamahal mo sa anak mo. Nararamdaman niya ng bata. Doon pa man sa sinapupunan. At tuwang-tuwa yung bata, kahit na wala pang malay, nararamdaman na niya, na po ang tatay at nanay ko. Masayang-masaya sa kanilang pagmamahalan. At ako ang bunga ng kaligayahang iyan. Alam na, nararamdaman na ng bata. Magmula doon, may puhunan na tayo, lalaki yung bata, na minamahal sa pamilya. At sapagkat matatag ang pagmamahal sa kanya, umaapaw, ika nga, ang pagmamahal sa kanya, madaling na ibibigay sa iba. Madali, sapagkat umaapaw eh. Hindi mo pwedeng bakuran. Kaya kahit na hindi karapat dapat yung mga taong nakapaligid, minamahal pa rin niya sapagkat yung pag-ibig niya, eh labis-labis, hindi mabakuran, umaapaw, tuloy, bumabalong doon sa mga taong nakapaligid sa kanya. Kaya, kahit nakaaway, kahit na hindi kasangga, ayun, madali niyang namamahal. Pero yan, hindi nakukuha sa isang saglit. Kaya tingnan nyo, no yung mga Israelita, o bago sinabihan ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, yung kanya mga apostoles, may kasaysayan kung paano hinubog ng Diyos ang lahi ng mga Hudyo sa pagmamahal. Nung una, gantihan. Mata sa mata, ngipin sa ngipin. Kung may masama kang ginawa sa akin, ay nako, maghintay ka. Gagantihan kita. O nakaraan silang maging dayuhan at alipin. Saan? Sa bayan ng Ehipsyo, di ba? Sa Egypt. They were strangers and enslaved in Egypt. Kaya nun sina, pinalaya ng Diyos magmula doon sa bayang inaapi sila, sinabi ng Panginoon, Hoy, naranasan niyo na kung paano maging dayuhan sa ibang bayan, ha? Naranasan niyo ng maging utusan at alipin ng ibang lahi. Huwag niyong gagawin yan. O, naranasan nyo, yan ang, yan ang aral. Naranasan nyo na yan, na maging dayuhan. Ang hirap, ano? O, kaya huwag kayong maging racist. Na porkit hindi ninyo kalahe, sisipain ninyo. Huwag nyo pagmalabisan yung mga utusan ninyo, yung mga nagsisilbi sa inyo. Ituring nyo silang mga kapamilya. Oh. Bakit? Ano pinagbabasihan? Karanasan. Sapagkat dyan tinuturo ang pag-ibig. Kapag ka hindi ka nakaranas ng pag-ibig, paano mo maibibigay yan? Kaya kapag ka may bata kaming nakikita ah, na mukhang kulang sa pag-ibig, aba, nagtataka kami. Ano ba tinuro sa bahay dito? Kulang din yata ito sa pagmamahal. Kaya walang maibigay, hindi naranasan kung paano umibig. O kaya, ayun, naranasan ng mga hudyo. O naging alipin kayo, naging dayuhan kayo. O anong hirap ninyo? O kaya doon pumasok yung golden rule. Do to others what you would like others to do unto you. Gawin ninyo 
yung mabuti na gusto niyong mangyari sa inyo doon sa kapwa niyo. Bakit kayo, ang dami niyong paghihirap na naranasan dahil may mga taong umapi sa inyo. Kaya kayo ngayon, napalaya ako na kayo, huwag kayong mang-aapi. O yan. O, tinaas pa ngayon nung dumating ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, pataas ng pataas. Ano, antindi ng pagmamahal. Dito sa Ibanghelyo natin ngayon, o dito yan, ha, sa Ibanghelyo ng kay Juan, o nakita nyo sa salaysay, sa huling hapunan, binibigyan ko kayo ng bagong kautusan. Bago. Bago ba yun? Kautusan ng pag-ibig. Alin ang bago doon? Yung pinagbabasihan. Dati ang pinagbabasihan, mahalin mo ang kapwa mo tulad ng pagmamahal mo sa sarili mo. Sa sarili mo. Ayaw mong maapi. Ayaw mong maargabyado. O wag mong gawin sa ibang tao yan. O yung sarili mo nagiging pinagbabasihan. Ngayon ang pinagbabasihan. Yung pag-ibig ni Jesus. Mahalin nyo sa kapwa nyo, katulad ng pag-ibig ko sa inyo. O yan ako. Yung pag-ibig ko sa inyo. Ano yung pag-ibig sa atin ni Kristo? Ayan o, tingnan nyo, nakapako sa krus. O, hindi ko na pahahabain ng paliwanag. Tingnan nyo lang ang krus. Eh. Doon nyo makikita kung hanggang saan ang pag-ibig ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Kayo ba meron taong handang mamatay alang-alang sa inyo, alang-alang sa pag-ibig sa inyo? Yung bang asawang napakasalan nyo, handang mamatay, alang-alang sa inyo? Oh, Kayo ba? Handang mamatay, alang-alang sa pag-ibig sa asawa ninyo? Kayo ba? Handang mamatay, alang-alang sa pag-ibig sa mga anak ninyo? At yung mga anak ninyo, handa bang mamatay alang-alang sa pag-ibig sa inyo? Ako ba handang mamatay alang-alang sa pag-ibig ko sa inyo? At sino dito <laughs> ang handang mamatay alang-alang sa matandang ito? Oh, yun na ngayon ang pinagbabasihan ng pag-ibig. Mataas na, no? Lalong mahira, pero pinakita ng Panginoon. Magagawa niyo ba ito? Oo. Bakit? Eh, ito, ginawa ko eh. Kaya nga ako nakarating dito sa daigdig para ipamalas sa inyo. Pwedeng mangyari. Bakit pwedeng mangyari? Eh, ako'y nagkatawan tao para ipakita sa inyo. Nangako siya, cross my heart. And he died on the cross. Para sa anyon, para magibigan kayo. No, kaya nga tuwing pupunta kayo dito sa simbahan, ah, kalimutan yun na yung higantihan ninyo. Ituring nyo bawat isa na kapatid. Hindi nyo ba napapansin sa misa? Pagpasok nyo pa lang, ano tawag? Mga kapatid. Maski yung nanay ko nung buhay pa, siyempre naman nanay ko, patay na sa tanda kong ito. Akalain nyo, buhay pa nanay ko. Pero nung buhay pa, nagsisimba siya sa misa ko. Oh, hindi ko siya binibigyan ng special mention. Hindi ko sinasabing mga kapatid, Nanay. Nanay. Papatid. Anong pinakikita? Sa mata ng Diyos, iisa lang ang Ama. At tayong lahat magkakapatid. Eh, ang hirap nito, watak-watak tayo eh. Bakit kanyo? Oh, hindi natin tinuturing ang bawat isang magkakapatid na ang Diyos ang iisa nating ama. Iba. 
Marami sa atin, ganyan ang pag-uugali. Sabi nila, charity begins at home. Charity begins at home. Tama ba yun? Tama naman yun. Ang masama, charity begins at home and it ends there. Yung pag-ibig nagsimula sa bahay at natapos sa bahay. Kaya mabait lang sila sa kanilang mga kadugo. Mabait lang sila sa kanilang mga kapamilya. Ang turing nila sa ibang mga pamilya, wala akong pakialam dyan. O, ba? Diba? O, kaya tayo nagsusunggaban. Akin lang ito sa pamilya ko to. O, itong mga ari-ari ang ito para sa pamilya ko lang. May mga pamilyang nagikahos, wala akong pakialam dyan. O sa kapangyarihan, kami lang ang pamilya ko lang ang pupuesto. Kayo, hindi. Kaya tingnan nyo, yung mga ordinaryong pamilya, mga nakanganga, nakatingala lang. Doon sa mga pamilya na may patakarang, charity begins at home. And it ends there. Sapagkat sila lang ang may kayamanan, sila lang ang makapangyarihan, ano ugali nila? Parang sila lang ang anak ng Diyos. Sila lang ang busog. Sila lang ang maraming bahay. Sila lang ang maraming, maraming, marami. Amantalang yung iba'y naghihigkahos. O ano yan? Sila lang ba anak ng Diyos? O kaya dito, no? O baka kayo, no? Nag-iisip, bak bakit kayo lang ang nandito? Mga kapatid, bakit yung iba wala? Naisip nyo ba yun? Kung bakit yung iba'y wala sa simbahan? Bakit kayo lang ang nagsisimba? Kung maraming dahilan. Yung iba tama, yung iba mali. Yung iba sasabihin, wala po akong masuot eh. Wala akong damit. Bakit walang damit? Meron bang anak ng Diyos na walang damit? Kahit huling ko, dapat po ako magtrabaho sapagkat nagugutom po kami hindi po kami kumakain na tatlong beses ang araw. Meron bang anak ng Diyos na nagugutom? May sakit po kami ni paracetamol. Hindi po ako makabili. Oh. Meron bang anak ng Diyos na no, hindi, hindi maalagaan? Natanong na ba natin? Minsan tinatanong ko sarili ko niyan eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Sarap ng buhay ni Father. <laughs> Kaya hindi ko masisim minsan yung mga hindi nagsisimba. Maraming wala sa kanila. Oh. Kaya hindi makakilos na parang mga anak ng Diyos. Tayo lang ba, mga anak ng Diyos? Isip Isipin nyo. Kaya tingnan nyo, no? Pagkatapos nyo mangumun yun, ang pari nagmamadali, konting linis ng kanyang mga ginamit sa misa. Konting dasal pagkatapos sasabihin niya, tapos na ang misa, humayo kayong mapayapa. Ano yung sabihin nun? Kung po pwede ko lang sabihin eh, kaya alam baka mabastusan kayo eh. Tapos na ang misa, ano pang tinutunganga nyo rito? Hala, hanapin nyo yung mga nawawalang kapatid nyo. 
Alamin nyo, bakit wala dito? At kay... O isipin nyo. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, Oy, mahalin nyo kapwa nyo, katulad ng pagmamahal ko sa inyo. Ano yung pagmamahal ni Kristo? Ha <laughs> ha! Pag-ibig na walang boundary. Pag-ibig na hindi nakasalalay sa dugo. Hindi nakasalalay sa lahi. Hindi nakasalalay sa kayamanan, sa kapangyarihan, sa ganda. Saan lang nakasalalay? Sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Love one another as I have loved you. Tinanggap ba natin yung pag-ibig na yan? Yung pag-ibig ng Diyos ba yung natanggap na natin? O ano ang sagot nyo? Opo! Okay. Bakit hindi nyo maibigay? O yun, nasusunod. Natanggap na pala ninyo. Eh bakit hindi natin maibigay? Kung natanggap na natin, we all stand to profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, keep us close to your loving heart so that we might be faithful to the new commandments you've given to us, through which we shall be known as followers of your Son, Jesus. With confidence, let us pray. Lord, keep us safe in your love. Lord, keep us safe in your love. Empower, Church, empower church leaders to promote the dignity of every person. May they continue witnessing the, the genuine love before our brethren, we pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us safe, safe in your love. love. Guide the leaders of the nations to foster compassion so as to promote peace and love through the Spirit's counsel. May they put an end to hatred, indifference, and war, we pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us safe, safe in your love. love. May Christ's love be the sure foundation and sustenance of couples who are preparing for marriage as they look forward to sharing their life as husband and wife, as father and mother of their household, we pray. Lord, keep, keep us safe, safe in your love. love. Provide our land with more witnesses of Christ's love. Those called to the ordained ministry and religious life, single persons and widowed, May the risen Lord be their source of spiritual and emotional strength, we pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us safe, safe in your love. love. Welcome our beloved dead who carry the hope of resurrection and their hearts into eternal life, we pray. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us safe, safe in your love. love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, keep us safe in your love. God, our Father, we, your children, come before you. Renew our hearts so that we may abide in your love and be genuine witnesses of your love towards a life of discipleship. Grant this through Christ, our resurrection and life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Matthias, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father, our Father, so we have the courage to say. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace be with you. Take away the 
the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and leave those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ay ito os puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakipag-isa sa amin sa pagdiliwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Makakaasa kayo ipagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyo mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now please join as we pray for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness, restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.